Good evening. Changes are coming to mask rules in Broward County schools. Masks will be optional for some students. It's being broken down by age. CBS 4's Francis Wang is live in Oakland Park to explain. Francis. Hey, good evening, Elliot. Lauren, that mask mandate only lifted for the older students. We're actually here at this meet and chat event that has already been planned. This is just the first of a series of meet and chats, and mask mandates just one of the many topics parents and community members are here to talk about. No more mass mandate in Broward Public Schools, if you're a high schooler anyway. And for our students who are in high school, we are going to strongly encourage you to go ahead and continue to wear the mask. Um, and that will be our line of communication as we continue to go forward. A recommendation for the older kids still required for elementary and middle school. To implementation, what will happen is for our elementary schools, or for our middle schools, and for our center schools, the practices that we currently are doing right now will remain in effect. Dr. Rosalind Osgood, representing District 5 on the school board, explained how she voted. I personally tried to make decisions around this issue that I would make for myself and my children because I feel responsible for uh, protecting our students and our staff. We knew this potential reversal was coming. The board had agreed to revisit this mandate when the COVID-19 positive rate in Broward hit below 3% for 10 days. And vaccination rates went up, including children 12 and older. The item passes 5 to 3. Broward Teachers Union President Anna Fusco responding to the 5-3 vote, saying, quote, I'm proud of the school board of Broward County for standing firm on keeping mass mandates in place for Broward County Public Schools, elementary and middle school students, and strongly encouraging high school students to wear masks. I don't think they are understanding exactly how fed up parents are. Some parents wanted the mask mandate lifted completely. This mom left the board meeting disappointed. And want to be able to make that decision for themselves, for their own children, and determine that risk reward of a mask and the alternatives. Again, this is just the first of a series of meet and chats. They do go through mid-December at different schools throughout the school district. And if you're not able to attend one of them in person, you can ask your questions online using the hashtag BCPS Meet and Chat. Live in Oakland Park, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News. Francis, thank you.